one more year to launch the next car. It's not going anywhere. Um, but we're here today to talk about the 60th anniversary uh, of the Corvette. And uh, I don't know how many people know this, but Corvette is the longest running car nameplate in automotive history. Not the Model T, not the Mustang, not the Porsche 911, not the Toyota Corolla, not these cars that seem like they've been around forever. The car that has the longest continuous running production is the Chevrolet Corvette. So 60 years. Um, I'm actually, I'm curious because uh, I was present when we did the 50th anniversary. Went down to Nashville. How many folks participated in that event? Quite a few. So I'm glad to see you all still around, uh, enjoying uh, the Corvettes through the 60th anniversary. And so uh, we have a couple things to show you here. Carl and I will be doing a detailed presentation uh, along with Craig Sass from the interior and Kurt Venue on the exterior. Uh, tomorrow, I think it's from 12 to 1 uh, in the theater. Uh, so we'll show you all the, the visuals and give you all the background on the car in there. But we thought we'd give you an overview because we've got the cars parked out here. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the 60th anniversary car is white. Um, how many people notice that? <laughs> that I, the reason I ask is how many of you were here at the 50th anniversary is because I remember distinctly uh, a lot of comments that people expected the 50th anniversary, why didn't you do a white exterior, red interior, just like the 53? Why didn't you do that? And we answered at the time, well, red is super popular, you know, everybody likes a red car, so we wanted to do a, a variant of red. Uh, on that car, we kind of tucked it away, you know, there was this big hole for white and uh, kind of our heritage back to the 53 car, so we thought, well, why not? Why not do uh, a white car? And uh, as you can see from these cars, uh, we've done a lot more than just do a white car. Um, the interior is maybe my favorite part. We got the new seats uh, from last year that we brought out in 12. And then we got uh, a really nice blue interior and a lot of suede accents that people like. We've done that on special models uh, for the last couple of years. So we loaded the car up with suede so everywhere you touch the car, it's really uh, very pleasant to touch. And uh, even when you get a little warm and sweaty, it feels really nice. And even when it's really cold, uh, it feels really nice too. So you can see the 60th anniversary package with the, uh, the gray stripe running down the, the center. And you can get that on any Corvette model. Uh, but probably what most people will connect in their mind uh, with the 60th anniversary is uh, something else we're doing special, which is bringing you the 427 engine in an open air configuration. That's another thing, you know, we talked about listening to customers and we've had that pull pretty much since we brought the Z06 and the LS7 uh, engine out. You know, why can't I get a convertible? That's what I really want. I want the best of the best. I want that motor, high torque, high revving, small block engine, and I want the open air driving experience. And uh, we've stubbornly refused to give you that for all these years. But for the 60th anniversary, uh, we're putting that package together and making it available either in the anniversary, the special anniversary of colors, or any colors you want. And when you get that, you get some uh, really good extras uh, with it. You can see you got the, the, what we call the B92 hood. So the lightest hood uh, we know how to make. Uh, with the visible carbon, you know, full carbon hood, carbon interior. Uh, inside of the hood. So we really tried to put kind of the best of the best uh, in this car. You get the magnetic selective ride, you get the big wheels and tires. Um, this car is not um, like a Z06 convertible. It's not tuned the same way. It's a little more laid back. You know, the uh, Z06 is intended to be a uh, track weapon. It's uh, maybe our most edgy car, it's most balanced, it's high performance car. So this car is not really that philosophy. It's uh, more of a grand touring car, but with the spirit uh, of that engine and then the capability uh, of that chassis. So it's kind of our best hardware all put together in a convertible uh, with that engine. And the, the sum of the car is really more than the sum of the parts. Uh, we were kind of surprised ourselves when we put the, the car together and started driving it on back roads. And a lot of folks in the development team were saying, you know what, this is the best Corvette we ever did. It just came together uh, really spectacularly. 
you got all the good uh, open air experience, and then that willing drive line, uh, it's just a riot. So that's kind of the overview. I want to give you a summary. Uh, Harlan is here to uh, fill you in on, on some of the other details, and I'll come back. Okay, thanks. Um, so like Ted said, the you know, 16th anniversary is very special. You know, the white car, blue interior. Um, car over there with the top up, you can see for the first time, uh, we've done a special convertible top where the stripes are actually stitched into the top. I think we're the first ones to ever do something like that. So that makes it really special. Uh, it has a stripe package going through. So, so that was the car that um, We've been showing, showed at the Chicago Auto Show. We had it at Sebring. We had it at Barrett Jackson, first car. Went for over six hundred, went for six hundred thousand dollars at Barrett Jackson uh, for charity. And uh, but again, you know, we talk to customers all the time, and some people are like, "Well, um, I like that car a lot, but I really don't like stripes." So you can get one like this one, which doesn't same car, but without the stripes. Actually, you have to order both separately. You get the 60th anniversary, and you get the stripes. And then some of you are saying, well, I want a 60th anniversary, but I want a Grand Sport. Well, you can get this car right here. It's a Grand Sport, uh, 60th anniversary. And you could also get the uh, coupe and convertible as a 60th anniversary. But you know what? I, I want a uh, ZR1 60th anniversary. And you know what, I want it with the uh, cup tires, you know, and the cup wheels. Well, we've got one at the end here with the machine cup wheels, and there's one at that end with the black cup wheels. Or you want a Z06 with the Z07 package, carbon fiber brakes, cup tires, kind of the ultimate 60, and you get that too, get one of those down there. But then some people are like, well, you finally did a LS7 427, convertible, I don't, but I don't want a white car. Why do I have to get a white car? Well, you don't have to get a white car. You can get in any color you want. It's actually now our seventh model in the Corvette lineup is the 427 convertible. And uh, for example, we got some back there. There's a uh, Velocity Yellow 427 convertible. There's a Torch Red one. And uh, so you can get it with whatever color you want, any of the 10 colors. And then some are saying, well, you know, these wheels are really cool, you know, 19s and 20s. It comes with the Michelin PS2 tire standard. Uh, it comes with magnetic ride control standard. And uh, some people like these wheels, but you know what would be really cool if you could get the Chrome Zero One 20 spoke wheels on, on, the, on that car. Well, you can, there's the, the yellow car over there. You can get it with yellow brakes and yellow stitching. So we really have a lot of different ways that you can configure your car. Now some people are saying, you know, I had a 60, 67 or 69, 427 convertible, and remember you used to have the black stripe on the hood, you know, raised hood. So we have that option. You can get a uh, heritage package, which comes with the black stripe on the raised carbon fiber hood and special uh, 427 logos on the uh, four mats, that's another package that you can get. So we really have a lot of things. Now, everybody's saying, what is this car gonna cost? Is this gonna be a $100,000 car? You know, so, so first that we did get our uh, pricing approved, and um, I'm here to tell you that the 427 convertible will start at 75,925. And, to get a fully loaded anniversary convertible with the, in the blue interior, the carbon fiber, ground effects that you can get as an option, CFC package, and uh, again, it's, it's the leather wrapped interior. So to get that, the full anniversary package, it would just cross over about 90,000. So it's not gonna be a six figure car, it's not inexpensive, but it's uh, I think a lot more reasonable than people thought, you know, basically, the Z06 price range um, is where it will be. So, um, one other thing too, okay, so your friends, you know, you're into Corvettes, you might have some friends, maybe they drive some other types of sports cars, uh, you know, from other countries or whatever, and they're saying, okay, well, I don't really care about the Corvettes having a 60th anniversary, it's a meaning thing to me. 
what you can tell them is that this 427 convertible power to weight ratio is better than a Porsche 911 uh, turbo cabriolet. It's better than a Ferrari California convertible and better than an Audi R8 V10 Spider convertible. So better power to weight ratio in the Corvette than any of those exotic sports cars. So another, just on performance alone, it's really a great package. And it comes with the dry sum system, area in the back, and all the carbon fiber hood and fenders and floor panels, and things like that. Badging? Talk about the badging. Okay. The badge? Yeah, oh, talk about the badge. Because one of the things, that's a good question, good point that came up. Um, like when we did the 50th anniversary, for example, um, even if you don't get the anniversary package, but you get a, any 2013 Corvette, every 2013 Corvette has special badging. And actually, um, Kirk is here, and Dennis Finos is here somewhere who work, works on that. And uh, they have a special 60th anniversary badging on the car. We have sill plates that come with every 2013 car. And there's also uh, badges on the um, gauges, on the gauge cluster. So every car has a little bit of celebration of Corvette's 60th anniversary, no matter what options or models that you get. You can hear as Harlan went through that, uh, all the choices that you have. And uh, a lot of that is due to uh, input from customers. You know, it, it's a you know it's inexpensive for you again. It's a good value, but it's also a dream car for folks, and they they really want it. You guys really want it exactly the way you want it. And then a lot of you start changing it even after that. Uh, but we, uh, with our partners here at Bowling Green, are uh, trying to offer as much customization as possible, so you can get a car that's unique to your needs. Uh, maybe unique uh, amongst your friends, something that's truly special. And if we only build the one for you and it's what you want, that's great. So Carlin's the advocate uh, inside the corporation uh, to do all this stuff so you can thank him for his efforts because, you know, ideally we don't, you know, General Motors would be like, like to be like, uh, you know, the Model T Ford. Just make them all black, make them all the same. Uh, from a manufacturing standpoint, that would be the, the easiest to do. Uh, but we know you guys all have different tastes and we want to try to cater to those things. So uh, a lot of good choices. Uh, really sending the, the C6 off uh, with a bang in its last year, uh, celebrating the 60th anniversary the way uh, we really want it to. We're very excited to bring it to you. In fact, uh, we're bringing it to you a little early. Uh, we're actually so excited about this. We're pulling this, the launch ahead and we're actually going to be shipping cars in June as opposed to after a traditional shutdown in uh, July. So we're starting the 13th model year early in celebration. Next week, next week we start building a custom car. We build the Bear Jackson car. Already been built. The, the car that sold the Bear Jackson for $600,000 uh, already been built. So uh, they're coming. So and next year, I can tell everybody, come back here next year and we'll tell you how we're going to celebrate the 61st anniversary of Corvette. Yeah, we forgot to talk about the new blue. Is it back there? The night, new, new blue is called Night Race Blue. And you see the car there, it's a 427 convertible with the blue top and blue stitching in the interior. And uh, so that replaces uh, the Carlisle blue, which we built out, that was a one year only. And the other new color is not really a new color. Anybody know what the other new color is? Black. It's black. <laughs> it's back. Regular black is back. So again, the uh, Centennial Edition with the carbon flash was really successful, but now we're back to uh, regular black again. So um, that's pretty much all we had. We also want to do an overview of these cars here today. Uh, we can take some questions if anybody's got any questions. Back here. question is, what do we have to do special for the convertible to make that convertible compatible with the 427 engine, all the chassis stuff? Um, basically, what we have to do is bolt the engine in. You know, it, it's, since the Corvette is designed to be a convertible anyway, we, we started 
the, the, the real answer to your question is we went to the traditional like grand sport body structure. So it's a steel structure, it's not an aluminum structure like the Z06, which is optimized for minimum weight with a fixed roof car. For open air, we just use the, the grand sport uh, hydroform steel frame. Uh, underneath, and then uh, that's a little bit heavier than the aluminum, so we added all the carbon bits to try to take the weight back out of it. The trickiest part is honestly uh, doing the dry sump, uh, which goes up here in the front and uh, displaces the battery, and that pushes the battery to the back. But that, that seems fairly straightforward, but it's not, because now you've got a big battery cable that now has to run the length of the car through all this mechanism uh, that makes up the convertible top. So that was uh, kind of a neat trick doing all that packaging work. So that was probably actually the biggest engineering challenge was putting the battery in the back. But uh, in terms of structural reinforcements, anything like that, nope, it's plug and play. Same gearing as the Z06 transmission? The gearing is, a, is a, yes it is. Millennium How many people would like Millennium Yellow back? We got one. How many like the yellow we got now? It looks like it's going to be a while. Okay, but we're always listening, so thank you very much. But lobby your neighbors, you know. We talk about heritage colors, you know, portrait came back uh, after being gone a while. Uh, it was mainly through customer poll uh, demanding that. Um, so keep the input coming. Other questions? Yes. Basically, Z06 drive line uh, chassis. You know, it's but you got the Michelin PS2 uh, tires, and then we calibrated obviously uh, for how we wanted the convertible to ride. So there's some customization in it, but it's uh, basically Z06 ZR1 underneath. Right here. Two-part question. I know plant tours are done. Will a customer still be able to do a museum delivery for the end of 13, and also will they be able to do an engine build for the entire 13 model year? Um, oh. <laughs> I, I was going to answer, you can do the museum delivery, and you can do the engine build. But well, we are going to close the plant to the public on September 14th, Rick. So uh, because of all the activity of the plant associated with the new product, we are going to have to close the plant to the public. But that, So that stops public tours, stops buyers' tours. Buyers can still do museum delivery, which is good. Uh, but there'll be a brief period of time that uh, we got to block, or black out the, uh, the plant. Got a question back here? The question is, is this the last chance to buy a 427, a 7-liter small block engine? I would say um, buy one, just to make sure <laughs> you've got one in the bag, just, just, just in case. Yeah, we weren't gonna, sure we are going to do this one. Dave probably never, Dave Hill's here. Uh, former chief, and he brought an earlier, never envisioned putting a, a seven liter engine in the convertible, but here it is. <laughs> Question here? Question is, did we ever think of doing a special white paint? Yes, we did. Uh, we played around with uh, a number of alternatives, and uh, none of them worked out. Uh, paint is a very high technology uh, project, uh, coming up with new paints. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of our plans was stymied by the tsunami in Japan, uh, believe it or not. It, it's that much of a global operation. The, the uh, cerulean flake that goes in some of our paint uh, is made only in one place. And it's in the, uh, the zone that had the nuclear meltdown uh, in Japan. And since then, additive disappeared. Uh, you saw a lot of manufacturers had to pull the paint with that additive off the market. And that basically stopped uh, any development of any special colors for us. So uh, the answer is yes, we thought about it, uh, and we're still thinking about you know what other kinds of special paint uh, can we do for your folks. Question back here. Uh, is there a chance of green coming back into the inventory? 
How many people want green? Got one. After we do Millennium Yellow, we will bring back green. Any other color choices people would like to nominate? Yes, Dream Blue wants to come back? Yes, Dream Blue? I am. One of my personal favorites. Lamont Blue. That too. Okay. Electron Blue? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's one, another one of my favorites. Okay. I think we got a lot of blue fans. Do not get rid of Torch Red. Uh oh. Anybody want to get rid of Torch Red? How many of you want to get rid of Torch Red? What's your problem over there? <laughs> Everybody, you see who he is? <laughs> okay, any other questions? No, well, we'll be around. Um, I'm actually doing a seminar tomorrow from... Uh, we'll be out here tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, we'll be out here again tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have the mic uh, on time and be able to start on time. Uh, but we'll be doing seminars uh, all morning tomorrow and uh, show you my texture. So thanks for your patience. Sorry we started late, uh, but we'll be hanging around here for a little bit if you have more questions for one on one. Thanks. Anybody wants to see the presentation tomorrow? We're on. I'm on. Uh, 11 to 12. We'll be talking about general uh, development topics, things that we're. Uh, doing to develop, that we did do develop these cars, and then also the kinds of things we're working on uh, for the next gen car. Um, that's 11 to 12. I missed the presentation. And then, uh, Harlan, the big news for and Harlan and I and Kirk uh, will be on 12 to 1, and then at 1 o'clock we'll come out and uh, basically take any other questions you guys have. Just three continuous hours of entertainment. So if you enjoyed today, be sure to come back tomorrow. Thanks. Good looking color.